Uh, okay, hey, there's a game. There is a game. We S haven't even done an intro yet. Yes. Um, <laughs> this is Evil Guacamole Gaming. I am the Devil's Avocado, and I, uh, my complexion is likely in the real world similar to that of an avocado, because I'm kind of blug sick. I got it from the baboo. I think, or the wife, or both, something. Way. Also, I'm joined by the healthy. Maggie from Bovine Design. Hoorah. Okay, so we're getting back, and I'm I'm gonna try not to be a slow ass this time, but I'm not feeling as well, so that might actually happen. Uh, so take us away, Miss Shuzuki. Hold on, I'm really distracted because my girlfriend just sent me a link saying buy this, and it's a it's very racy underwear. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Definitely also needs to be included. By the way, send me forward that link to me. Uh, no. It's Fine. just the underwear. It's not you wearing it. I know, but I don't. I'm like I don't want you to imagine my girlfriend wearing it. You don't even know my I, girlfriend. Looks I don't like. know what she looks like. I assume she has a somewhat feminine shape. Also, that didn't take oh, a lot of convincing she? from my. <laughs> Man, does she have a uh, donkey donk? Femi a feminine shape. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> you will be in Paz. Oh, I just got very tracer. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been watching Overwatch videos today. That's I don't know where that came from. You will be in pairs, painting a diorama or a paper mache lamp. Anything postmodern. Then write a paper on design. Or don't. That works, too. What the hell? But re yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like, are we supposed to or are we not supposed to? But remember, this project will count for 10% of your final grade, so work hard. Sound good? This is in America. <laughs> the only response was bitter murmuring. Miss Shizuka often ended up with sound good, but she never cared about the answer. <laughs> All right, in the last few minutes of class, pick your partners and discuss your project plan. We'll continue next time. In a matter of seconds, almost all the desks in the classroom connected. I looked at Mai, but a girl, Mimi Santos, already claimed her. That Mai bitch. frowned at me as if to apologize. Well, Mai could say no. Yeah, she could. I scanned the classroom for the few other people I met, finding them already paired. I was going to be the only one without a partner. She's either going to get Shane or PPG. Suddenly the desk, the edge of a desk collided with mine. Oh. Yes! Senpai! <laughs> Senpai is here to help. It's husbando. Yes. Uh. Ah. Guess we'll be working together. PBG sat in front of me with a cheeky grin. Didn't he sit on the other side of the room? How did he get his desk over here so quickly? Cheat codes. Aww, he likes her. I wonder... Then why was he glaring at her? Because I'm sorry, like, maybe he just... Maybe he just kind of had, like, a resting bitch face going on or something. I actually... This... This... This has happened to me, like, like, I, because of the way I, my physical appearance, especially when I was younger, like, people thought that, like, me looking at them was, like, way intense. Partly that's because my eyes are further back in my head, so mm -hmm. that, also <laughs> my eyes, the colors of my eyes are very intense. And also yeah. not static. They they change. So uh so yeah, that that happens and like people get weirded out. But okay okay, he doesn't really know her. He can think she's really cute, but did it warrant that much staring? Like Maybe it's not so much it warranted it, he just 
couldn't help himself, or he wasn't thinking about it. Yeah, he, he wasn't thinking he was it. Coming off. Or maybe he just has ADD, and like he was looking straight through her. <laughs> like, like maybe he started looking at her, and then like was on bicycles in seconds, and <laughs> and uh, just man, that happened to me a lot in high school. Actually, more so, grade school, but okay. I leaned over to look past him. He'd left a gaping hole <laughs> several collapsed students in his way. <coughs> so in that case, he turned around. Do I need to do that again? Uh, go ahead, just in case. Seeing my gaze, he turned around. Oh, um, oops. Sorry. Oh, it's so cute! Okay. He waved sheepishly. A boy glared at him. <laughs> and that boy was probably one of the normal boots boys. <laughs> it was probably Shane. Well, for better or worse, we're partners. Uh, uh, is he being... Okay. I don't get it. <laughs> it's either... Either he's really like her and he's really bad at showing it, or he is the worst Sundari ever. <laughs> I think he's really bad at hiding it. Like... It's like, oh, guess we're partners. Gee. <laughs> but of course, like, like... I know, but like, he, he literally <laughs> plowed through the entire classroom to get to her. Oh, yeah, because he like, didn't think enough to I, think, I, like, hey, maybe that, that, that'll be obvious. <laughs> well, I guess we're partners. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Holy shit, <laughs> PBG is so me. No wonder I like him so much. <laughs> I guess we are. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, why are you apologizing? Wait, no, that's not what I meant at all. Aww. You're super smart. I'm just sorry you're stuck with me. How does he know she's super smart? Isn't it like the third day of school? <laughs> you're pretty smart too, though, right? <laughs> not that I knew. Yeah, or he knew. I guess. But I hate schoolwork. I don't care about it at all. Uh, ten percent of our grade depended on this project. <laughs> now we understand why he is apologizing. <laughs> oh, not that I'm gonna make you do it all. I may not like school, but I'm not gonna let someone else fail just because I think it sucks. I haven't done something like that since I was a kid. The girl got so mad, I learned my lesson. This is where the confetti comes in. The man learned a lesson. He laughed, hitting the desk and crinkling his nose. I didn't see what was so funny, but from the way he was looking at me, it seemed like I should. I smiled hesitantly. This is really funny because so far she's had a crush on like every single normal Boots Club member, except for maybe Shane and him because he keeps glaring at her. And now it's, he's making it really obvious that he likes her, and she's kind of like, I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> of course. I smiled hesitantly. He stopped laughing and frowned at me the same way he did yesterday. <laughs> um. Do you like apple cider? I'm sorry? Or a b pinball? What about magnolias? I feel like somebody's been giving him advice and suggestions of things to do, and he just mixed them all up in one, one crazy. What? What about the movie Magnolia, starring Tom Hanks? <laughs> yeah, I guess I do. You guess you do? Oh, he looks like he's gonna just die but right there. You. He sputtered, opening and closing his mouth like he was trying to eat air. I searched his face, wanting to help him out. He was clearly struggling. <laughs> PBG leaned forward, looking into my eyes like he was deciphering a code. Really forward. So close I could see little brown flecks in his eyes forward. Uh... Uh, what? PBG moved away, his anxious look fading into a slight smile. Yeah, actually, don't worry about it. Ugh. 
Don't worry about it. I was brainstorming a subject for our piece, but you didn't have any strong reactions to anything, so I guess we won't be doing those then. Top five worst Sundaries ever. PBG, 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 and PBG. <laughs> like hell. The bell rang and, the, and students started packing up. Oh no, we didn't get to pick a project. Uh, 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 sorry, that's my fault. I was messing around. But don't worry, I'll come up with something. Just leave it to me. He thumped his chest as he got out of his chair, striking a pose and giving me a wide, reassuring smile. He shuffled his desk back to his side of the room as I packed my things away. I didn't understand what happened, but maybe it was better to forget about it? He didn't seem to want to explain. Time for the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. I don't even know if I'm including that, but... <laughs> <clears throat> if not, it'll just be our little secret. Okay. I left the classroom thinking to wait for Mai, but instead PPG trailed me into the hallway. <laughs> Holy shit, it's me. Oh, <laughs> no, stop. Stop being me, PPG. Literally the worst tsundere ever. He cleared his throat and I turned to face him. <laughs> I tilted my head back an uncomfortable degree. He was tall, but he was scratching his neck, avoiding eye contact. So, so um, I know you said you were fine at lunch. But are you sure you're okay? I mean, you were really freaked out yesterday, so... Heat crept its way into my face. No, I'm alright. As long as you're fine. If you need help with anything, you can rely on me. Though... So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing that again. I don't know. i probably keep this in just to make fun of me. <laughs> also, Brad probably won't do it. Will you, Editor Brad? Uh-huh. Oh, harsh. Um. <laughs> if you need help with anything, you can rely on me, though. Especially since... The uncertain look crossed his face again. I, I just... My belief in that one theory you had about him previously knowing or whatever just like my believability of it went up like 50 times just then. I don't think that's it though I, I really can't figure until, out what it is until now it wasn't but like that especially sense type of thing that the main interaction that had happened was the smack in the face and he already mentioned it so it has to be about something else Anyway. He's an enigma wrapped in a big, dorky, fluffy-haired mystery. Yeah. <laughs> did I did I already say the uncertain look crossed his face again? Um, I don't know. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did. The uncertain look crossed his face again. Well, never mind. Are you headed back to the dorms? Um, yes. Nice. Me too. We can go together. He pumped his fists into the air. I glanced into the classroom. Mai was still talking to Mimi, looking like she was about to rip the girl's head off. <laughs> she wasn't going anywhere. Okay, and here's another thing I don't understand. If Mai and Mimi are rivals, why does Mimi keep latching onto her like they're friends? Enemies closer. Maybe. Sure, let's go. But as we turned to leave the hall, we were interrupted by someone wearing a yellow and gray jacket. <gasps> the Rival Club's jacket. <gasps> My heart stopped. Standing before us was a tall man with cheekbones like no tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't recognize him from our class, which must mean he was one of the other Hidden Block members. I didn't know whether I should scoff at him or ignore him, but before I could do anything, PPG held out his hand for a high five. Hey, hey Jeff! such rivals. Jeff returned the jester and the two locked into a conversation. Okay, so for the uninitiated, um, in the real lives, PBG and Jeff do a lot of stuff on YouTube together. In fact, Jeff is, is PBG's editor and they do a two-person Let's Play show called PB and Jeff. <laughs> That's adorable. Yeah, oh. it has a really cool intro. So are we are we kind of viewing rival like 
are they rivals in the sense of like blood born enemies or are they rivals in the sense of like your Pokemon rival in the Pokemon games? Like you're I actually think... friends with them, but you're competing with them at the same time. <laughs> um, I think it's going to depend on each one. Like there's going to be some that like view this as like blood in the crypts, jets and the sharks. <laughs> and then there'll be others uh, like these two that are kind of like, yeah, I guess that technically is true that that we're rivals. Okay, a what are you doing? You're a boot all the way. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I was I was singing nothing. <laughs> I'll f I'll hear it on the editing. <laughs> I was I was singing one of the West Side Story songs. Oh, but. And with this, with the lyrics changed to this, I'm a I'm a Broadway uh, music nut. <laughs> you can't bring up Broadway musicals without me singing. I'm sorry. I, I know a side story a bit because it's one of uh, Jezebel's favorite. Um, mm, it is really good. I think her 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 big favorite though is 1776, which is probably my favorite. But I am not a nut. <laughs> well, I am a nut, but not for Broadway. <laughs> Baby G, you're pumped about the soccer match? Yeah. Yeah, I've been waiting for this all day. All. Whoa. Take two. Yeah, I've been waiting for this day all summer. I almost messed it up again. If you scroll back and forth between him saying yeah and then the next line, they just keep saying yeah and right on to each other over and hey, over up? and over yeah. and over. Hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up? Sorry, what's I'm having fun with it. Go ahead! <laughs> okay, I just did that. And that's gonna <laughs> be fun to mess with on the uh, recording. <clears throat> um, are you busy? I'm trying to get the team together right now for a last minute practice. Are you in? <laughs> I am so in. I have nothing to do for the rest of the day. Are my cleats still in your locker? Yep. Awesome. Let's go then. Jeff waited. Jeff briefly looked at me and pointed. PBG turned around, surprised I was still waiting. <laughs> Hana. Oh, Hana! Oh God, I just want to coach him. <laughs> Sorry, I I gotta go. See you in class tomorrow. I'll I'll make sure I bring my thinking cap. He put on an invisible hat, then gave me a thumbs up. That's adorable. Ah. Uh... Oh wait. Do you, do you want to come to our game? It's in a few weeks in the first one of the year. So it would be real cool if you could come and watch us. Not that I care. I added the Sundary. <laughs> Mostly me, because I'm the star player. I'm good at games. <laughs> uh, wow, thanks. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, so we are making PBG our husbando, right? Oh, yeah. So, of I, course. I, I don't really have any uh, major urges to go for anybody else, so... Uh, of course. <laughs> I, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> now, if we played a game with a bunch of uh, female options, then you would see me having a small crisis. <laughs> yeah. You mean, that like, Mochaccino? Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. That was pretty open and shut Julieta for me. Because <laughs> because Annie didn't come off like a love interest to me. She came off like a bestie. And, I, and I'm sure she came off like that for other people. But yeah. Anyway. That sounds really fun. I would love to come. <laughs> Woo! Thanks. That really means a lot to me. Usually the first game doesn't conjure much of a big crowd. Can I bring mine? She might have planned on going anyways, but she was always including me in things. I wanted to do the same for her. Yeah, yeah totally. Bring as many people as you want. Fill up the stands. Yeah. He, <laughs> yeah. He left with Jeff, and I headed back to the dorms. 
Mai usually walked with me. It felt weird to be alone, and suddenly I realized it would feel even weirder to be in the dorm alone. Not knowing what else to do, I headed for the library. Might as well get started on some homework. I stayed in the library much longer than I anticipated, head low over a small sheet of uh, project ideas in a thick book. Every time I thought about leaving, panic seized me. The truth was, I still didn't know my way around the academy. Mai had been there to guide me, and I was more focused on the people around me than the places. Is it just me, or has Mai not really been there to guide her? <laughs> yeah, not, not super well. She's trying, but she's... She's trying so hard. As students trickled past, laughing and heading off to no doubt have tons of fun, I fiddled my pencil. What? Oh, what? This is a... Oh. Stop. I would, I would have to leave eventually, though. Hesitantly, I closed my notebook and stood. Oh, it's me! <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to him earlier today. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> hey, Anna, how are you? That's my best guy voice. I apologize. Whatever, it works. <laughs> it's the only one I can do that's not just doing this. Yeah. I, wh <laughs> I whirled around. Gerard was walking past me, a thick book in one hand. Gerard, hi, um, I'm good, thank you. I laughed weakly and found myself wringing my hands together. Yeah? He clearly didn't believe a word I was saying. I sighed. I'm a bit scared to leave. I know that sounds pathetic, but I don't really know my way around here, so... Yeah, you look like a, a bit like a lost otter. <laughs> a lost otter? But hey, I haven't really got a chance to talk to you until now. I've been wanting to ask you if you're settling in alright. I know that transfer students don't really get introduced to the school the same way freshmen do. Are your classes okay? How's your homework load? Do you like the food? Getting along with my? I stuttered, unsure of which question to answer first. <laughs> Everything's fine. Mai is great, yeah. She showed me around the campus recently. It was very nice of her, but she wasn't very thorough. A big grin slowly sp spread across Gerard's face, as if he was unwrapping a present. With his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I could show you around if you like. I used to give tours to incoming students. If you're new, you really should get a tour. Um, uh... Do you have anything to lose? Uh, I I kind of feel like we could do whatever, but also there's a little bit of me is like, have you ever seen Ten Things I Hate About You? Mm-hmm. You know that one line where it's like, what's with this chick? Does he uh, does she have chocolate flavored nipples? <laughs> <laughs> right. I yeah. gotcha. you. <laughs> um. Actually. We'll save the mystery of what we choose till next episode, because this is running a little long. Okay. So, this has been Evil Guacamole Gaming. I'm the Devil's Avocado, kind of green, and <laughs> I am joined by... Maggie! From Bovine Design. And we're out. We'll be right back another day. Bye. Okay, bye. Ugh! Reading Gerard's voice kills my diaphragm, but it feels kind of good. <laughs> <laughs>